What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new video. Today I'll be talking about how to uh, get better at controlling your Rico, at least how to improve um, and where to start practicing. I had a lot of questions about this on stream, if I could make a tutorial. Um, so here it is. I'll be talking about what settings could improve your Rico control, uh, what are the types of Rico, uh, which movements will improve your Rico control, um, which attachments uh, to use and how to use them and uh, the low Rico weapons so far in the game that I found. I haven't unlocked all weapons, obviously, I'm like rank. Uh, I'm not sure which rank I am, but I haven't unlocked all weapons yet. Um, so, so f like the Rico weapons so far. Um, so let's go to the settings first. Uh, there's a couple of settings that will make it at least look like you have less Rico. They don't necessarily act that way as well, um, but they could already help uh, you improve your Rico control a little bit. Um, so by default, your field of view and your ADS of V are turned off and your field of view is um, pretty low. Your field of view is how wide you can see uh, from your point of view. It's your field of view, obviously. Um, and your ADS of V means if you turn this off, you will zoom in um, a lot more than if you have this turned on. When you have this turned on, it will zoom in or it will actually won't really zoom in, it will keep the field of view that you've chosen. So, for instance, if you have a 90 field of view, if you turn it off, it will zoom in to a 55 field of view, so it will look a lot more zoomed in. Um, if you turn this on, it will keep that 90 field of view, so you don't zoom in as much, but you're still ADS. What happens if you turn this on, your visual recoil will um, appear to be a lot less. A lot of streamers use this, uh, a lot of good players use this. Um, it is kind of a visual effect. It's not necessarily giving you low Rico, but if you see streamers, you're like, wait, how is he controlling Rico so well? And you have never heard about these settings. Definitely try them out. You might like them. They take some time to get adjusted to. Um, but these are the settings that I would advise you to change around. Um, so there's two types of Ricos in the game. You have horizontal and vertical. Horizontal is extremely hard to control. There's a couple of guns. I couldn't really name a gun right now. Uh, not the best example, um, but there's a uh, horizontal uh, Rico, which goes from left to right or from right to left, so it goes both ways. And they have vertical Rico, which only goes up. Now, for vertical Rico, I have a very good example. Uh, the AK-24 has a lot of vertical Rico. Weapons with vertical Rico or a lot of vertical Rico are still very good controllable, um, but they just take practice. Uh, but they're actually learnable, like the AK-24. Uh, um, it has a lot of recoil, but it's definitely uh, achievable to actually make it a laser beam. It just requires practice. When guns have a lot of horizontal recoil, they are hard to control. It is learnable to some extent, but they will always be hard to uh, control. So if you really struggle to control, find guns that have more vertical recoil than horizontal recoil. Um, so there's a couple of movements in the game that will improve your recoil control. Um, first of all, when you shoot, stand still. This kind of depends on what attachments you're using. Um, but for like for most the the most situations with general attachments, you want to stand still while you're shooting. This will make it a lot easier to control the recoil and a lot more consistent. Now even better is if you're at a longer distance to go crouch. Going crouch and even going prone, no matter if you're using a bipod or whatever attachments, it will improve your Rico control a lot uh, by quite a bit. Like especially going prone, uh, your Rico control will improve quite a bit. Um, now for attachments, there are certain attachments. I'll be showing examples on the screen right now, um, and you have to play, uh, pay close attachment uh, or um, attention to this. Uh, to which attachments you're using for your gun uh, according to how you play and how you're able to control recoil. So there's actually certain attachments that will improve your recoil control when you're moving and not when you're standing still. With those guns, um, you want to be strafing. Strafing is moving while shooting. Um, so play, pay uh, close attention to which, which attachments you're actually using for your gun. Uh, be sure to use attachments that fit your playstyle. If you like strafing, it's very useful in this game. Use those attachments that will increase the recoil control while moving. Often these attachments will uh, make it harder to control your recoil while standing still. 
Um, so again, take a close look at your attachments. If you prefer more to play a little bit slower, more passive, uh, nothing wrong with that. Then you should definitely use attachments that will increase your vehicle control while being stationary. Alright, so in the end, after you've done all the things that I was talking about, um, be sure to just practice. Um, this won't happen over time. The uh, recoil control takes a lot of practice. I was struggling with this myself a lot at the start. There's still a lot of guns that are just simply hard to control the recoil. Some guns are easier, some guns are harder. Um, just simply start off with the easy ones I'm and improve your way through. Okay. And eventually you'll be able to control the harder ones as well. And some guns are literally not meant to be controlled. Um, you gotta not forget that some guns just have an insane rate of fire and uh, have a ton of recoil and are not really meant to be, you know, a laser beam from a long distance. Um, so practice a lot, uh, use the tips I gave you above, and now I want to talk about the low recoil weapons I've found so far. Um, so completely when you start off the game, I think, I'm pretty sure you have the LCMG unlocked, which is the first LMG. Uh, this is a low recoil weapon. Uh, it's a laser beam. The time to kill is kind of slow on this weapon. Uh, but if you really struggle to control the Rika, I would advise to use this gun, unlock some attachments for it and make it a little bit more comfortable because at the start it's kind of uncomfortable to use, in my opinion at least. Um, but the gun kills slow, so be sure to play a little bit more passive with this and um, and improve your way through. But this is a very low um, Rika weapon that's nice to start off with. Uh, now there's one more gun that I found um, and it's uh, the PP29. Uh, I think you unlock this at rank 18, but I'm not sure. It's kind of like, it's 18 or higher at least. It's an SMG. Um, so far, this is my favorite gun in the game as well. Um, and it's a, it's an absolute laser beam. Um, I don't have too many attachments unlocked. Like in the clips you see right now, I'm only using the, the, the sight. That's it. You, you have 50 bullets at the start. So these are the two weapons I recommend. If you want to try and improve a recoil control, I recommend at the AK-24 as well. This one will actually take some practice. Um, it has a lot of vertical recoil, but it hits really hard. So if you manage to hit your shots, you'll be killing very quickly. Uh, and there's some attachments you unlock very early on that um, that are very good for strafing. So if you want to like uh, practice on strafing as well, the AK-24 is a very uh, good way to get into that. Um, so yeah, that's it for the video. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Um, I might make a part two of this, maybe <laughs> more detailed. Names. I didn't want to make this video too long. The um, there's some basic tips and um, I hope you guys, uh, uh, hope it will help. Uh, let me know if it did. Be sure to uh, drop a like if it did um, or if you just enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye. What is up ladies and gentlemen, quick reminder, I have two uh, other channels besides this channel where I upload more Battlefield content, so in case you want to see more content, be sure to check out those channels. I got a shorts channel where which I upload highlights, funny moments, uh, all in short clips, and then I have a gameplays channel where I upload full, raw, unedited gameplay. Uh, so if you want to see more content, be sure to check out my other channels as well.